different video today. Uh, more of a video just me talking theories while some Battlefield clips play along in the background. It wasn't my intention for these clips to be so RPG heavy, it just happened. I recorded some of these clips quite a long time ago while trying to capture content for some of the recently planned videos that I'd uploaded. These clips didn't make the cut but I still felt they were good enough to do something with so here they are. What I wanted to talk about though is the upcoming Star Wars Battlefront game. I'm sure everyone has seen the trailer and if not where on God's earth have you been? This is not a trailer breakdown and I'm not going to be using clips from the trailer and I'm not trying to force my opinions on anyone. After all, there's only one opinion that ever really matters and that's your own. So you've got to think what you like about these things. Th there's a few things that have been confirmed about the game and they are the things I wanted to talk about. Ground based combat. This is the official line on the official website, so no space battles. I've seen a few people alarmed and outraged by this, but I have a hard time feeling sorry for those people. That's not because I'm evil and like seeing misery, but because I'm an infantryman. And for me, ground-based combat is what I like to do. Having said that, I think I would have liked to experience space battles, but it would have only have taken away from the ground game, so I'm kind of glad about the direction DICE have decided to go in. Sorry. However, any helicopter or jet pilots need not fear, you will still have the ability to annoy everyone on the ground because they've also posted this, pilot X-Wings, TIE Fighters and the Millennium Falcon in exhilarating aerial combat. Find out which squadrons will rule the skies. Next point, third person. Now I'm really not sold on third person, however I equally don't have a problem with it. <clears throat> it points towards the game being more about persistent aim than a twitch shooter, and by that I'm expecting it to need a lot of bullets, bullets, <laughs> lasers, to take out your target instead of the four or five bullets of a battlefield or a Call of Duty game. I guess if you've played Destiny or Planet Side 2, I'm figuring it'll be more like that. The reason I'm not sold on third person, and why I think Battlefront will be based on persistent aim, well, I'll give you an example. I imagine third person mode in Battlefield 4 or Call of Duty. In third person you cannot aim down the sights, so imagine how many people you'd kill using constant hip fire. I could be wrong, and third person may just be for tactical reasons so that you can use it for awareness and spotting then switch back to first person for the kill however I think that's highly unlikely they could also just make Battlefront the way it was before but again things have moved so far since the last Battlefront game I think that's unlikely as well my opinion is that anyone expecting Battlefield 4 with lasers is in for a big surprise but I also think anyone expecting an upgrade graphical version of Battlefront 2 is also in for a big surprise. I'm interested to see some actual gameplay so that we have a better idea of which way they're going to go. But Battlefield 4 recoil and a third person mode? Nah. 40 in a server. Again there's been some grumblings but I have a theory on this as well. It's again an assumption, but there's some method to my madness if you hang in there. Battlefield 4 is a beautiful looking game, but on PS4 it peaks on peaks and dips all over the place. Frame rate drops, there's lag spikes, and all manner of annoyances that make you want to throw your pad out the window. Battlefield Hardline is not a beautiful game, and it's been heavily scaled back in the graphics department, but it runs like a dream. No frame rate drops, very few stutters, and you get a nice, smooth gameplay experience. Both of those games are 64 players, and look what they've had to do to Hardline to get it to play well on a console and have the world's internet cope with it. Now, after looking at the beauty of Battlefront, think about why they may have reduced that player count. My theory is that it's to make a beautiful game that also plays well. I can understand the disappointment about the apparent step back, but would you trade 
all of those deaths round corners, those frame rate drops, those people sliding around on their knees and those lag spikes for a slightly smaller map and 24 less players? It's a hard question and I'm not sure I can answer it for myself. The one thing I can hand on heart say though is that I think Conquest Small on Battlefield 4 is one of the best game modes. It's a good balanced game that runs well so as long as Battlefront's 40 man maps are sized appropriately and balanced well then it should work but that will remain to be seen. The graphics on the Battlefront trailer are absolutely unreal and from everything we've heard that is actually how the game looks in game. There's also been a screenshot released split screen on PlayStation 4 top screen in third person, bottom in first person that screenshot looks exactly the same as the trailer did and that's apparently what this game's going to look like if it looks like that and they get the maps right I'm quite happy with 40 players they're the three things I wanted to talk about because they seem to be the bit that's in the most discussion at the moment so I wanted to sort of put my opinions forward feel free to put your opinions below um, and let me know what you think but to avoid making this video a horrendous length, I'll end it there, I can't wait to hear and see more about this game. As a Star Wars fan and a Battlefield fan, this could be the greatest game so far of my lifetime, but it could also be the greatest gaming disappointment of my lifetime. Come on, Dice. Do it well. Have a nice day.